Welcome back guys to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material designing. This is Annie from Smart Hood. In the last video, we had seen how the snack bar overlapped the floating action button. In this video, we will be learning about rectifying that error so that the floating action button moves along with the snack bar. This is where the coordinator layout will be used. The coordinator layout implementation will help the widgets and the components in the Android screen to work in sync with each other. Let's move further and learn more about the coordinator layout and the advantages of its implementation in our Android application. So what is a coordinator layout and what are its features? Coordinator layout is a super powered frame layout. It is called as the super powered frame layout because it is used primarily for the two purposes. It is a top level app decor or it is also known as the Chrome layout. It acts as a container for the specific interaction with the child views or for the interaction among the child views. That is the coordinator layout may contain the child views and by specifying the behavior for the child views of the coordinator layout, the interaction between different child views or the interaction between the parent view and the child view is done. The coordinator layout when implemented into our application as the root layout enables certain features for the snack bar. The swipe to dismiss feature for the snack bar is activated. Because we have been using the frame layout, the snack bar could not be swiped off the screen. But with the use of the coordinator layout, we will now see how the snack bar can be swiped off the screen. The coordinator layout also enabled the feature of automatic moving of widgets like floating action button. Now let's move to Android Studio, implement the coordinator layout and see what all changes takes place in our application. In our last video we had seen on clicking the floating action button there was the snack bar that was overlapping the floating action button. That was because of the frame layout. Now let us change this frame layout and use the coordinator layout. After the implementation of coordinator layout in the activity main.xml, let us move to mainactivity.java and change this frame layout to coordinator layout. Now let us run our application and see what happens. Here is our application up and running. Now let us click the floating action button and see how the snack bar appears. The coordinator layout is working. On clicking the floating action button, the automatic movement of the floating action button is enabled. This is what I was talking about. It enables the feature of automatic motion of the components like floating action button. Another feature we had learnt about the coordinator layout was it enables the swipe feature of the snack bar. Let us see. After changing the frame layout to the coordinator layout, the swiping action can be implemented in the snack bar. The snack bar can be dismissed by swiping it off. This is what the advantage of coordinator layout is. That's all for this series guys. In this series, we learnt about the snack bar. We see here on clicking the overflow icon, we have the different kinds of snack bar that we have learnt about. The simple snack bar, the snack bar with action and the customized snack bar. We also learnt about the floating action button, clicking on which we can perform specified actions. We also learnt about the coordinator layout and also about the customization of the floating action button. I hope you like this video series on the basic building blocks of Android material designing. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned because there is a heck lot of information about the material designing that is in queue. Stay tuned and have a good day.